Hello everyone, welcome to RCV Academy. Today, I'm going to start another very important and very popular tutorial series, which is basically on uh, Confluence and Confluence with Jira. So this is Confluence training and I'll get into the details of what exactly is Confluence and why you should be using Confluence with Jira. So before that, I would like to introduce myself. So my name is Manish Verma and I'll be your instructor for this particular course. And I am the G certified Jira project administrator and I've been using Jira and Confluence together for a while now. So it has been more than six to seven years that I've been using Jira and Confluence together and I have been ad administering these two, you know, tools. Um, now, why do you basically need to understand Confluence and Jira together? Uh, the reason is because most of the projects that you will be working nowadays will be having these two tools uh, together. So Jira is for the Agile project management and Confluence will be for more of a documentation or wiki or a blog or there are a lot many things that you can achieve out of Confluence. I use Confluence and Jira day in day out in my actual workplace as well as to manage my personal tasks, to manage my tutorial series work or blog work or any other work, for example, YouTube uh, and any other documentation that I do. So I use Jira for my project or for my project tracking purpose in my personal space as well as in my workplace and Confluence for documenting or um, you know noting down any of the key information that i need to you know refer back later so this is a brief about myself and why i use jira and confluence together is because of the ease that these tools provide and the kind of customization that you can achieve with these tools okay so let's get started and understand what basically a confluence is and why do you need to basically get into the confluence. So uh, the first thing about uh, the confluence is uh, we'll understand the course contents of this particular series. So in, in terms of core con course contents, what I'll be covering is I'll be introducing what exactly is the confluence. Then I'll be walking you through the installation process and the configuration and setup so that will include most of the basic or beginner stuff and then we'll progress through the advanced topics so uh, in the advanced topics it will be more of a managing spaces then how do you manage users groups and permissions then how do you manage contents how do you customize uh, so all those things i'll be covering in detail in this particular tutorial series i'll be also covering about the templates and blueprints what all templates and blueprints are available what is the difference between them and how you can create or customize these templates and blueprints then uh, we'll also cover the integration of confluence with jira which is very very important because both of these tools when you know used together bring a lot of value to your particular project so integration of jira and confluence together is very important and after integration what value these tools will bring together i'll explain all those concepts of for example how you can you know get the jira contents out in confluence and then how you can use the confluence to basically push the content to jira so all those concepts will be covered in this particular tutorial series so this is high level course contents there will be a lot more videos coming through in this particular course contents but uh, this is you know more of a high level contents that I'll be covering okay now moving uh, next uh, we'll understand a brief about you know what exactly is confluence right so uh, confluence is a tool um, that is being uh, provided by the company known as Atlassian and Atlassian also provides to Jira which is very widely used now confluence and Jira are heavily used in the organization. So Jira is for Agile Project Management and Confluence is the team workspace. So Confluence is for the project documentation for team collaboration. So it's, you can think of it as a wiki, uh, but it is much more powerful than wiki. It's not just, you know, uh, a wiki wherein you just document 
uh, something and refer it later. It's more of a um, very powerful tool for the documentation and team collaboration. That there are lots and lots of you know um, customizations available in Confluence. Lot more flexibility available. Um, and a lot more, you know, you know uh, security that you can configure in Confluence. It provides a rich text editor. You can do parallel editing with other team members. You can create, you know, like knowledge base articles, project, project documentation, meeting notes, and there are lots and lots of other things. For example, you can, you know, do blogs. Uh, in, in the blog, you can have complete different structure. So there is a lots and lots of possibility that is possible within confluence then other th important thing is about the team members uh, can collaborate so with confluence multiple team members can you know collaborate on a piece of document and confluence ma maintains all the versions of uh, the the work document within itself so you don't have to worry about any version controlling so for example if you're you know trying to document something in a word document version controlling is a big problem right so you keep renaming the file as v1.0 1.1 1.2 as as somebody changes the version of the document confluence maintains that for you automatically so version controlling is by default there teams can collaborate and collaboration is the high, uh, most uh, you know important thing that is required in nowadays for any of the agile project or teams working within the agile capability or agile uh, methodologies for example scrum so when team members can collaborate provide their value in uh, you know any sort of documentation say for example there is a design document that needs to be developed uh, multiple people can have a look at the document and provide the comments so that is the greatest you know advantage of using confluence and because Confluence is from Atlassian itself, Jira and Confluence can be integrated very easily. And when these two tools are integrated, it brings a lot of value to the team and you can expedite your documentation or agile project management using these two tools very easily. All right. So that's a brief about the Confluence. What are its advantages and why you should be looking for learning Confluence? The reason you should be looking for learning Confluence is that there is um, rarely any organization that you will, you know, go which doesn't use Confluence. Okay, so Jira and Confluence are very widely used, and uh, from past seven to eight years, wherever I have went in my, you know, uh, professional journey, I have got these tools or I have worked in these tools. So there is no organization that I have found in last eight years uh, that do not use these two tools. Okay. So that is why we need to understand Confluence, how to use it and how to use it effectively within your team. All right. So this is a brief about Confluence. Now let me go back, uh, you know, to the search page and I'll search for Confluence. So it's here. And we'll go to the official Atlassian website and see what exactly are the details that are provided on the Confluence page. So here you can see that it is basically, you know, remote friendly team workspace where knowledge and collaboration meet. Right. So we'll see all it in action uh, and you, you can see high level highlights are there. So build, organize and collaborate on work in one place from virtually anywhere right so it's available uh, from anywhere uh, and teams can collaborate you know easily using this particular tool so if we you know scroll down a little bit there are lots and lots of templates for example you want to define product requirement document there are templates for it there is a template for marketing campaign so there are many out of the box templates and you can design your own templates as well right then uh, if you scroll down you will see that uh, you know here you have the prices uh, basically what is the pricing structure so basically confluence is now free up to 10 users so if you're a small organization and you have, and you have, if you haven't thought about that there is something that you can use for free so up to 10 users you can use confluence and jira for free okay so this is the best part about it that it is available for free up to 10 users if you are more than 10 users then it's basically different pricing and this is premium pricing 
Now, this is the pri these are the prices for the uh, cloud version of Confluence. Hence, this tutorial series will totally co cover or will be focusing on the cloud version of Confluence. Now, if we check about, you know, what all other options are available for the Confluence. So, you have the cloud that is available there. If you go to pricing, you will see you, you have option for the cloud, which is basically free for 10 users. And then you have self-managed. Okay. So, in the self-managed, you have server. So, if you are a big organization and you don't want to um, compromise with the data or you don't want your uh, internal data or the organization data to be you know shared in the cloud in the cloud or stored on the cloud then in that instance you go for the server version or the data center version so this is more of a you know you have to self-manage in data center if it is you know you want the high availability uh, to be available then you go for a data center version um, the latest news is basically with the server version Atlassian will be ending the sales for the server version from February 2nd, 2021, right? So this is the latest news as of now and the support will end for the server version from, um, you know, 2024, Feb, Feb 2nd. So this is as of now, uh, you know, today uh, uh, when I'm recording this particular video, uh, but data center version, I think will still continue as of now, there is no news for it, but server version will go away. Uh, the support will go away for server version. Okay, so this is for uh, these are different options. We have cloud, you have server, and you have data center. Server will won't won't be available uh, uh, in couple of months, and data center and cloud will still be available. All right. So this is a brief about what exactly uh, uh, you know Confluence is, and what all key features are provided by Confluence, and what all uh, you know deployment options or installation options are available in confluence now because this series is all about the cloud instance of the confluence so in the next tutorial we'll sign up for the cloud account which is free for 10 users and we'll continue from there so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful and clear thank you very much for watching